saw the importance that my parents had. You know, they made sure they cast their vote. Then you start seeing historic movies about how African Americans, you know, fought for the right to vote for many, many years. And let me take advantage of my opportunity. And I started thinking about it from that perspective. And I think that that's ultimately what led me to be a consistent voter. My parents, they always taught me judge people by their heart. And ultimately, I think that's what's made me successful. You judge people by their heart and their knowledge and you know, and the respect you have for, you know, that person. Um, my dad was a little older, so he dealt with some, you know, racism and, you know, prejudice towards him firsthand to hear him talk about some of the things that he sees so easy for me that was hard for him. I like to use the older people, we, some of the people in our organization, you know, like Alan Lumpkin, who is a little older, he's been around for a while, straightforward dude, he's a great person. So why not pick his brain for a little bit? That's better than a Netflix series. You kind of have to hope in your heart and let your mind be a sponge to take in some of the information that's going on. You can't be blinded right now and for years to come, you gotta continue to push the needle and that's really, really, really with the knowledge that you have. If you really want your voice to be heard, vote. Because even though it seems like it's a little thing, it's a big thing when you add those little things up. And this is for everybody, you know, living a good, good loving life moving forward. And I think that we all need to take the responsibility, you know, personally, each house, and do what we need to do as citizens of the United States. And I think that, um, why not be a part of history? Because it's going to change.